We're on lesson 3.2 about angles formed by parallel lines and transversals. This is 3.2a about corresponding angles postulate. We've got three previous videos for this chapter. If you get lost, they're linked in the geometry playlist in the description. When parallel lines are cut by a transversal, the angle pairs that are formed are either congruent or supplementary. That means the angle pairs will either have the same angle measures as each other, or they'll equal 180 degrees when combined. And look at this diagram. Angle 1 and angle 3 are congruent. Angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary. Get your pen if you want to write this down. This is the corresponding angles postulate. We have a postulate, the hypothesis, and the conclusion. So the postulate says if two lines are cut by a transversal, that's the red line, then the pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. So we can look at this diagram in the hypothesis section and reading the conclusion we can see angle 1 and angle 3 are the same measure, they're congruent to each other, and angle 2 and angle 4 are congruent to each other. We also have angle 5 and angle 7 congruent to each other and 6 and 8 congruent to each other. When they're on the same side of the transversal and the same side of those lines, they're corresponding angles. So we talked about this in 3.1, corresponding angles lie on the same side of the transversal on the same sides of the lines crossed by the transversal. So here I've got this diagram and I've got some angle measures. And if I take this blue angle measure, one of these blue angle measures, and fit it into angle one here, I can take the other one and because this is above the red transversal on the left side of line A, I can put this one above the transversal on the left side of line B and they're both 150 degrees, 115 degrees. See that? 115 plus 65 would be 180 degrees. That would be a supplementary angle. So I can take this 65 degree angle and put it here, and this 65 degree angle and put it here, and they're corresponding angles. See? And this one and this one make 180. See? If you notice those little marks here, there were also little marks up here. Those little marks tell us that these are parallel lines on the diagram. When we write it, we can write A is parallel to B. But when you see on the diagram these little marks here, that means those are the parallel lines. Okay? By using the corresponding angles postulate, we can find each angle measure. To find the measure of angle ABC, let's first find out where that is. We've got point A, point B, and point C. So that means X is going to be ABC. Well, this one is 80. They're both above the transversal. They're both on the left side of the lines. So the corresponding angles postulate says if that's 80 degrees, that's 80 degrees. So we know the measure of angle ABC is 80 degrees. That's X. And the measure of angle DEF, let's find DEF. DEF. So that's the X plus 30 degrees. To find this angle measure, we see that this angle and this angle are both on the same side of the transversal. They're both on top of the lines. So we know they're corresponding angles. That means this measure equals this measure. We can write it as an equation that that measure equals that measure. And we can start solving for x. We can take an x away from both sides of the equal sign. So 2x minus 1x would just be an x minus 45, that drops down. And on this side, we've eliminated this x as a zero pair, and we just have 30. Now what we can do to isolate x is add 45 to both sides of the equation to make a zero pair here, and we have x equals 75. Now all we have to do is plug in 75 for x into one of the equations. We're trying to find this measure, so we can fit it into this one. And 75 plus 30 is 105. See? So because we knew that this measure equals this measure, we could write an equation that way that they equaled each other and then slowly isolate x and solve for x. Okay? We can find the measure of QRS. Let's find QRS. QRS. So it's this one inside on the other side of this x. Okay? 
Well, we know that because of the corresponding angles postulate, if that's 118, that's 118. We also know that 118 plus some number would make 180, wouldn't it? That means x plus some number would make 180. So we can say the measure of angle QRS, this measure right here, plus this x will equal 180 degrees because then they'd be supplementary angles, wouldn't they? And if angle S is 118 degrees, then X is 118 degrees because of that cor corresponding angles postulate. We can say the measure of angle QRS plus X will equal 180 degrees. And if X is equal to 118, we can remove 118 from each side of the equation and get that measure of angle QRS is 62 degrees. That's what would be left over from the supplementary angle here. See? I've got another example. If we need to find the measure of JKL, so here's JKL, so it's X. If this is 127 degrees, they're both on the same side of the transversal, they're both above the lines, so X must be 127 degrees. That's the corresponding angles postulate. And if we need to find the measure of angle BEF, let's find that. BEF, so that's the 4X plus 19. We need to find out what that is. When we look at 7X minus 14, they're on the same side of the transversal. They're both above the lines, so we know they're equal. We can set this one equal to this one and slowly solve for X. We add a 14 to both sides. That makes a zero pair here. We got 7X equals 4X plus 33. We can take this 4X away from both sides, and we get 3X equals 33. Divide both sides by the coefficient 3, we get 1x equals 11. And we can substitute x as 11 into this one and just use the corresponding angles postulate to say that that one must be that. Or we could just plug it into this one, either way. If we plug it into the first one, we get that GBC is 63 degrees. So if this is 63 degrees, this has got to be 63 degrees. See? That's the corresponding angles postulate. And remember that postulates are statements that are accepted without proof. They are statements that are accepted without proof. And the corresponding angles postulate is given as a postulate. So it can be used to prove the three theorems in our next video. We're going to talk about the alternate interior angle, alternate exterior angle, and same side interior angles theorems. It's 3.2b, parallel lines and angle pairs with those three theorems, okay? If this was helpful, remember to hit the like button because that tells YouTube to keep my videos high up on the list so people can find them. And I hope you're doing well and stick to it. You're going to be okay. I believe in you. Have a great day. Bye.